In part 19 of our build guide, we install the radiator and fuel tank. Install a 1 and 8 inch splice into the main coolant hose with a number 20 hose clamp. Pull the hose from the rear of the car until the splice is centered up in the frame rail cutout. Repeat this process on the other main hose. Put Loctite in the upper radiator mount holes and on the rubber isolated radiator studs. Install the studs into the radiator. Place the fan on the back side of the radiator as shown. Install the angled plastic brackets with a square of foam tape under each one. Put a spring on each plastic rod and stick the rods through the plastic brackets. Pull the rods through the radiator. Slide a foam pad on each plastic rod followed by a plastic locking disc. Pull the rod until the spring is mostly compressed. Cut the excess plastic rods. Cut the ends off of the radiator fan wires. Crimp an 8th inch eyelet on the black wire. Crimp an insulated disconnect terminal on the other wire. On the car, cut the black radiator fan wire and crimp an insulated terminal. Clear excess paint or powder coat out of the lower radiator mount holes. Install the radiator with the plastic radiator adapters on the lower posts. Put the rubber isolated studs through the upper frame mounts and install M6 nuts and washers. Tighten with a 10 mm socket. Use a self-drilling screw to attach the radiator fan ground to the frame. Connect the radiator fan terminals. Install the front brake lines to the brake tee. The shorter line goes to the driver's side. Tighten the tube nuts with a 10 mm wrench. Find the longer end of the medium hose with two bends. Measure and cut this end three and three quarters back from the bend. Connect the hose to the top of the radiator. Connect the bottom of the hose to the driver's side main hose. Cut the shortest formed hose just before the tight bend. Install this hose between the bottom of the radiator and the passenger side main hose. Lay the longer of the two fuel tank clamps out. Mark 12 inches and 22 inches from the end of the clamp without the stud. Do the same with the shorter clamp, but mark at 11 inches and 21 inches. Bend the clamps at the marks. Mark the upper fuel tank rails 6 inches from each end. Line the fuel tank up between the marks and hold it in place with a piece of tape. Leave the tape a little loose. Cut four pieces of leftover main coolant hose. Then cut the pieces in half.
Insert two rubber hose pieces between the tank and the rails on the driver's side. Wrap the longer fuel tank clamp around the tank. Insert two more hose pieces between the clamp and the tank. Tighten the clamp. Repeat this process on the passenger side of the car. Slip the filler neck hose over the fuel tank neck. Drop two number 32 clamps on the hose. Install the donor filler neck into the hose and slide it behind the frame mount. Use a T30 Torx to install the donor filler neck screws. Bend the vent tube back and down as shown. Tighten a clamp on each end of the hose. Drill a 930 second hole in the fuel filler neck to install the fuel cap tether. Put Loctite on the barbed fuel tank vent fitting and install it next to the filler neck tube. Use a 7 16 wrench to tighten the fitting. In the next video, we'll install the powertrain into the frame.